is a DTF transfer sheet. This is a UV DTF transfer sheet. I'm going to show you how to use both so you'll know what's the difference. Let's get started. Hello everyone and welcome to Crafting with Delanda. It's me again, Delanda. And thank you so much for joining me today. I am so excited about this tutorial and just showing you the difference between DTF, which is direct to film, and UV DTF, which is ultraviolet direct to film. Now, the shirt, the image on the shirt that I'm wearing right now is direct to film. It is one of the images that came from the DTF bundle or the DTF gang sheet that I ordered from Atlanta Vinyl. These these images on this bundle right here are to be used on fabric. And I'm going to show you very quickly how to do that. These, on the other hand, are like stickers and they are to be used on hard surfaces. I'm going to demonstrate this process for you. At the end of this video, if you find it helpful, please remember to like the video, subscribe to my channel, and turn on the bell for notifications because... I do upload new content every single week. Now, without further ado, let's get started. Now, this would normally be the part of the video where I would be showing you the materials that we're using and we would be getting into that. The one thing that I want you to notice about the materials that we're really not using is that there will be no printer involved in this tutorial at all. That is the beauty of ordering DTF transfers. Now, I am going to show you really how to use just a regular DTF transfer, which goes on fabric. This is a DTF transfer that I pressed earlier today. And these are UV DTF stickers that match the DTF transfers from this sheet that are that go on hard surfaces. I'm going to show you how to use these in a very quick and easy way. So if you're thinking about materials, the gang sheet that I just showed you, this one right here, this gang sheet, this whole thing <laughs> came with 21 different transfers and you can order this exact same gang sheet from Atlanta Vinyl. And I want you to remember to use my discount code. Everything you need will be linked below the video. These DTF or direct to film transfers are to be used on fabric, just like the image that I'm using right here. I actually cut this transfer away from this whole sheet and I pressed it on my shirt. Quick and easy, super quick and super easy. These like I said, will be placed on hard surfaces. So if we're thinking about materials, I'm gonna be using a shirt. The shirt is on my heat press and I'm going to use that heat press right there. If you, if you have a Cricut Easy Press, you just will need to add more pressure when you're applying the transfer, but you can use an Easy Press for regular DTF transfers. Remember the DTF with nothing in front is for fabric. The UV or the ultraviolet DTF, these are for hard surfaces. So I'm going to use some of the one of those on just one of these bottles, these water bottles. You can get these. I sent I purchased this one from Walmart and I think I paid a dollar for this. You can also put them, or I'm going to be putting them on some Cricut coasters. You've probably seen me use Cricut coasters before for sublimation. And I'm also going to place some on this glass can okay so just three different ways or three different ideas for you to use them i'm going to use just a roll of tape to hold the glass in place while i'm placing it down i will be also using just some regular regular uh isopropyl alcohol and a paper towel that's it i'll use a squeegee if i need to um but I don't, not sure if I'm going to need one. Okay. So in terms of materials, I think you pretty much have everything you need. I will make sure everything I'm using is linked below the video. Now let's go ahead and start with that shirt first, and then we'll just get DTF out of the way. Okay. So the first, the hardest part is finding your favorite image from this gang sheet because this gang sheet is filled with so much goodness. Okay. So... I'm going to look at the gang sheet and I'm going to like have to decide, okay, which one do I want? 
I really like this one that says Mama. I love this one just here for the wieners. Love, 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 love the sunflower. Um, I think I'm going to go with this one, America, 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 America. I just like it. I think it's so pretty. And Oh, but I also love the butterfly, and it really does match my earrings. Um, I think I'm going to go with the America, America, America. So now that I've decided, all I'm going to do is take my scissors. I'm going to cut the image away from the sheet. So now I have the image, right? And all I have to do is just cut this away because I don't need this. That's just like a part of the registration lines, I guess, for when they are printing. Now, what you'll notice about this DTF transfer is that one side has the vibrant, beautiful image and the other side is more of a white backing, white background, okay? That's where the actual, the powder is, right? So what I'm going to do first is take my shirt, I'm going to fold it in half and get my crease. I, I do this every single time. I just fold it in half just like this and I am going to get a crease, excuse me for having my back to you. I'm going to get a crease down the middle for about five seconds. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. My heat press is set to 300 degrees Fahrenheit. All right, here's my shirt with my crease down the middle. Now I'm going to press that image with this white side on the image. The beautiful vibrant color is going to be facing up. Okay, let me change my camera view so you can kind of see it a little bit better. Let's just move it over. Let's see if you can see that. Okay, that should be great. All right, let's do that this look at that all right I'm right here I'm right here okay so here's my image I'm going to come three fingers down from the collar three fingers down from the bottom of the collar so here's the collar three fingers right there this is going to be great okay so now I'm going to push this in I'm not going to cover it with anything I'm just going to press it just like this. Okay, I'm gonna press that for 15 seconds. We don't need to speed this part up. We'll watch it press and open up. Two seconds, one, there we go. Take it from the heat press and you let it cool down. I like to kind of just do a little fanning motion just like this. you're going to need parchment paper, okay? Let it cool down, completely cool down, and then put it back on top. Put it back on top of the heat press like that. Get you some parchment paper, parchment paper. If I was parchment paper, here's a piece of parchment paper. Not freezer paper, not butcher paper, not Teflon. We're using parchment paper, okay? So I'm gonna peel this off really fast. This is trash now. Now I'm going to take that piece of parchment paper, put it right on top, just like that. I'm gonna press it. Atlanta Vinyl suggests five seconds. I really like to do like 10 seconds just so I can really seal the deal. Now my face is really glistening, it's looking really shiny. All right, that's it. Okay, I can turn my heat press off because we're finished with the DTF portion of this tutorial. Look at that. Look at how beautiful that is. It's on there, it's not going anywhere. It is going to be beautiful. It still matches my earrings. And guess what? I also have a UV DTF sticker that matches perfectly. All right, we're finished with the DTF portion of this tutorial. Let's switch gears. Let's put on our UV DTF thinking hats. Let's switch gears. <laughs> 
And we're back. I have my Cricut coasters removed from the package. You didn't need to see me taking time to cut them. There is just a little piece of, I don't know, plastic or whatever that separates them. There are four of them that come in a package and they have a cork backing. These are very inexpensive. You can find them at Michael's, Hobby Lobby, Walmart, um, Amazon. I will leave a link for them below the video. So now let's start with them first um, because I think these will be the easiest. Now, in my opinion, if you're getting just getting started out with UV DTF, I, I would highly suggest starting with something flat. Now, I'm going to go ahead and um, cut off the images that I want to use. Now, here is the image right here that matches the image on my shirt. And remember, you can get, look at this. So this says, I don't know if you can see that. This says Delanda's 4th of July UV DTL sticker gang sheet. Look at how cute that is. Like, I want to order a whole bunch of these because I'm so excited about them, okay? All right, I'm going to follow these. These are the directions that come with it, all right? So let's just use a paper towel since we, we all have paper towels, all right? Let's just use that, all right? And I'm just going to wipe these down and give them time to dry. Wipe them down, give them time to dry. Just kidding. Let's just go to an overhead view so we can see it. Okay. Here's our first image. And what I'm going to do is try my best to <laughs> remove the backing without touching the sticky part so my fingerprints don't get on it. Here it is. So here's the, the backing, basically. And I'm just going to take this and place it where I want it to go on the coaster. So I say, <laughs> be careful with this. Look at that. Let me get a uh, weeding tool to fix that. I have a little air bubble right there and I don't want to put it down like that. A little bit nervous, a little bit nervous. Let's see if we can get that off. my first time doing this ever. Ooh. I'm scared to touch it. <laughs> I'm scared to touch it. Okay, I think it's fine like that. Okay, now it's flat. All right, so now I'm going to put this down where I want it to go. My advice is be careful because it's my understanding that once it's down, it's down. Okay, so I'm going to put it just right here in the in, as centered as I can, just like right there. Okay, I think that looks really, really good. Now, I am going to use a squeegee for this. Um, Atlanta Vinyl does have squeegees. Let me grab mine. So I'm just squeegee, 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 squeegee that thing like that. I am so excited about this. Oh my gosh. Okay, and then remove it. Slowly peel back the clear from the fur. Proceed carefully. All right, so let's see. Let's see if we can peel it back. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, oh my gosh. I'm in love. Oh my gosh. Look at how gorgeous this is <laughs> oh my gosh this is not going anywhere look at how gorgeous this is 
Imagine having friends over and you use these as coasters. Oh my goodness. Game changer. Let's keep going. So I repeated that same process for the other three coasters. I found three images from the UV DTF transfer sheet that I wanted to use. Of course, I started with the America, 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 America. I cut them out and then it was time to just follow the same exact process that I followed with the first coaster. I continued to follow that same five step process, which is to prepare the surface by cleaning it with the alcohol. Remember I did that and I just wanted to clean them again just to be on the safe side. And then I removed the backing and position the transfer, which is the third step. I apply pressure by using my Atlanta vinyl squeegee. And once I had squeegeed it enough, I carefully removed the carrier sheet from the top to reveal my beautiful new coaster. And I repeated that process two more times. I remember prepared the surface, removed the backing carefully, Pay attention to see if you have any air bubbles and just in case get those out i positioned the transfer where i wanted it i applied pressure with my fingers first in some cases then i went over it with the squeegee and then last but not least after i had it you know securely in place with the squeegee i removed the carrier sheet all right, now let's move on to the water bottle. I have already cleaned it with the uh, alcohol. I just wiped it down. I'm going to use the same little squeegee to hold the water bottle in place. Now, instead of using the transfers from my gang sheet, I'm going to show you that not only do they have this full gang sheet, you can also order personalized UV DTF transfer. So here's one with my logo and I'm going to place it right here and just show you what that looks like because i'm super excited about this i've actually had these for about two weeks and i was waiting to do this one tutorial so we could just do it all at one time so let me try to try my best to remove the backing okay there's that all right, and I'm going to do my best to kind of just carefully place it where I want it to go. I think I want it right here. I think that looks great. Just use my finger to kind of press it down. I can still go over this with the squeegee to remove any potential air bubbles. Just peel this back. Okay, there is my logo on the water bottle. Now I'm also going to put a um, another UV DTF transfer on the other side. I found one of my smaller parts of my logo and I applied it to the other side of the water bottle. I burnished it down really good to make sure I didn't have any air bubbles and I removed the carrier sheet from the top and I just cannot even tell you how much I love this water bottle. All right, last but not least, I'm going to apply the image that says just here for the wieners to this glass can. I just thought it was perfect for the glass can it's just so cute so i did use my weeding tool to kind of put that little piece back in place because when i was peeling it back away from the backing a piece of the firework kind of just got out of place so i was able to use my weeding tool and put it back in place remember to clean the glass first with alcohol make sure you know exactly where you want to put it because you cannot pick it back up once you put it down. I did burnish it with my squeegee from Atlanta Vinyl, just burnished it really, really good. And once I had it in place, I just removed the carrier sheet to reveal my cute new glass can. And yes, in case you're wondering, 
I love it. I love the way all of this turned out. I just cannot imagine trying to weed this with vinyl. It would be a nightmare. So hopefully you have found this tutorial helpful. Leave me a comment below and let me know if you learned something new and make sure to leave a flag that represents the country where you're watching from. So if you're watching from the United States, drop an American flag down in the comments. This is DTF. Remember it requires heat and is for fabric. This is UV DTF. And remember this is a sticker and just requires a hard surface. So you can put it on wood, you can put it on glass, you can put it on any hard surface where you intend to have a permanent sticker. So I would not, remember, I would not put this somewhere where you might want to change your mind later and want to switch it out because you, you probably can remove it, but it's going to take some effort and it might even damage the thing that you, you've applied it to. So if you have found this helpful, remember to like the video, subscribe to my channel, and turn on the bell for notifications because I do upload new content every single week. Thank you so much for joining me today. And thanks for watching. Bye.